Welcome to my channel, Historical Images, where I share rare and historic photos that change the world. Here you will find incredible images that capture important moments in history, from major world events to intimate and personal moments. You've probably heard the well-known expression that an image is worth more than a thousand words. But the photos in this collection have much more to say than each of these images. It has a rich and unique story that takes us to different times and offers us a unique view of what life was like. With these photographs we can explore and understand the past, which although distant, still echoes in our present. Weather 3 was one of the first fire truck units to arrive at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, when one of the worst terrorist attacks in history took place. In the 1913 image, we can see members of the Blackfoot tribe expressing pride and belonging amid the majestic scenery of Glacier National Park, located in the state of Montana. The image depicts the 79th floor of the Empire State Building after a tragic accident in which a B-25 bomber crashed into the building on July 28, 1945. The photo shows the devastation caused by the crash of the aircraft, with scattered debris and the fire that followed the impact. The, the image, image portrays shows. Robert L. Hugis, known for being the heaviest man in the world, in 1949, in Illinois. In the photograph, he is seen petting the family dog, which provides an interesting contrast between his imposing figure and his gentle and affectionate expression towards the animal. The photo presents a harrowing scene from the Uvalde pogroms of 1941, during the massacres of Jews by Ukrainians. In the image, it is possible to see a woman running desperately while being chased by young men and boys armed with wooden sticks. This image shows a Buddha statue over a thousand years old, which contained the remains of a mummified monk inside. This practice, known as self-mummification, was performed by some Buddhist monks in Asia for centuries as a way to achieve ultimate spiritual enlightenment. The image shows an Alaska native in traditional dress, posing with her son in 1906. In the photo, the son is resting in a hood that is part of the mother's attire, as she looks tenderly at the child. The image features Brooklyn Supreme, the largest registered horse in the world, weighing in at an impressive 1450 kilograms. The horse, a fine example of the Percheron breed, was known for its enormous strength and imposing size. The image in question is a color photograph showing a worker standing on the unfinished Golden Gate Bridge in 1935. The bridge located in San Francisco, California is one of the most famous landmarks in the United States. The image in question shows the remains of a Thracian chariot, along with the skeletons of two horses, which were buried vertically. The chariot and horses are considered part of the Thracian culture, which inhabited the Balkan region in the Late Bronze Age and Early Iron Age. In this image we see a pair of skeletons riding horses in a spooky manner for Halloween, probably in the 1920s. The following image shows a long line of customers at the opening of the first McDonald's in Moscow in 1990. This historic event marked the opening of the first American fast food restaurant in the Soviet Union after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The image in question shows a group of workers landing next to the chain used to anchor the Titanic in 1910. The image shows the San Andreas Fault shortly after the 1906 earthquake that devastated the city of San Francisco. In the photo, we can clearly see the break in the Earth's surface where the fault became visible after the earthquake. The culture of the Mandibetu people is known for its Ukrainian stretching practices, which consisted of shaping the head of newborn babies to obtain an elongated and elegant appearance. This practice was seen as a symbol of beauty and social status within the Mandibetu culture. The iconic photo features Fred Rogers, aka Mr. Rogers, alongside the series' supporting character, Officer Clemens. Portrayed by black actor and singer, Francois Clemens, Officer Clemens was the first African-American character to have a regular role on a children's television show. The Titanic was a famous ocean liner that sank on its maiden voyage in 1912 after colliding with an iceberg. 
Konrad Veidt was a famous German actor who portrayed Gwynplaine in the 1928 film The Man Who Logs, The Man Who Laughs. The character of Gwynplaine had a disfigured face and perpetual grin, which inspired the creation of the iconic villain Joker in DC Comics comic books. The expression the customer is always right is a common phrase used in business but before this business philosophy became popular, rudeness and bad behavior from customers was often rejected and not tolerated. The image depicts two girls delivering blocks of ice during the winter of 1918 in Lower Manhattan, New York. At the time, ice delivery was a necessity to keep food and drinks cold before the invention of electric household refrigerators. The 1938 Maximum vehicle, with a design that refers to the future, presents features more befitting a boat than a car. The officer in charge of inspecting the New York Tunnel, in fulfillment of his duty, had to make a stop to inspect in more detail the vehicle they are in, popularly known as the catwalk car. It was in 1912 that the renowned aviator Ruth Law completed the purchase of her first plane, having a seller the famous Orvo Urai, one of the pioneering figures in the history of world aviation. In Madison Square Park, located in New York City, it is possible to contemplate an artistic representation of the torch of the Statue of Liberty accompanied by a disembodied arm. In 1918, a pole climbing class was recorded for electricians who worked in the telephony area, where specific techniques for this type of activity were taught. In the West Bengalo region, located in Nandia, at the beginning of the 20th century, an event was recorded in which a woman from Sikkim, a region of the country, was caught carrying a British man on her back. In Palermo, a city located in Italy, the drying process of the pasta can be seen, which is displayed on shelves outside a store specializing in pasta. In the year 1908, in France, one can observe the presence of elegant ladies, following the fashion trends of the time. Known as ladies of fashion, we've reached the end of our video. In the 1930s, it is possible to observe in a train station the presence of a young Native American woman accompanied by a child. This hearse, which dates back to ancient times, originates from the city of Dresden, located in Germany. It is a rocking chair produced in Russia during the 19th century, whose structure is composed of a skeleton carved in wood. With this advanced toaster, you can always keep your breads warm and ready to enjoy at any time. Although belonging to the past, the K.J. Henderson Steamline motorcycle, dating from 1930, features a futuristic design that makes it appear to belong to times ahead of its time. It was the creator of Yodakin himself, inspired by his own physiognomy, using traces of his own face as the basis for the design of the famous character. In the city of Venzone, located in Italy, during the year 1950, it was possible to see people leading an apparently ordinary life, amidst the presence of mummies in their daily lives. If you write on the channel, leave your like and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive my videos.